All right, guys, welcome back, welcome back. And now it's time for your Gay History Week. That's right, it is time for your Gay History Week. It's every week you join me here on Out of the Closet Podcast, and I tell you about something that's happened in gay history. Did you know that the first, the very first ever Pride Parade happened right after a big gay riot? Well, that's right. It's known as the Stonewall Inn Riots. But let's back it up a bit so I can tell you how this all came to be. The 1960s and the preceding decades were not welcoming times for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans. Seriously, even solicitation of same-sex relations was illegal in New York City. Because it was considered illegal at the time, LGBT individuals flocked to gay bars and or private clubs, which were places of refuge where they could be themselves openly and socialize without any kind of worry. However, the New York State Liquor Authority penalized and shut down establishments that served alcohol to known or suspected LGBT individuals, arguing that they were that the mere gathering of homosexuals was disorderly, uh, which it probably maybe at times it was. <laughs> I don't know, but that's ridiculous. So they were targeting LGBT bar patrons. And thanks to the activist efforts, these regulations were overturned in 1966 and LGBT patrons could now be served in uh, or served alcohol in public, but engaging in gay behavior in public, still holding hands, kissing or dancing with someone of the same sex was still illegal. So police harassment of gay bars continued and many gay bars still operated without liquor license in part because they were owned by the mafias. You've heard about the gay mafia with a gay agenda. Well, there it is. In 1966, three years before the Stonewall and riots, members of the Matachine Society, an organization dedicated to gay rights, staged a sip-in, kind of similar to a sit-in, but it's called a sip-in, where they openly declared their sexuality at taverns, daring staff to turn them away, and suing establishments who did. When the Commission of Human Rights ruled that gay individuals had the right to be served in bars, police raids were temporarily reduced. The Stonewall Riots, also called the Stonewall Uprising, began in the early hours of June 28, 1969, when New York City police raided the Stonewall Inn, a gay club located in the Greenwich Village area of New York City. The raid sparked a riot among bar patrons and neighborhood residents as police roughly hauled employees and patrons out of the bar, arresting them and sometimes beating them into submission, which led to six days of protest and violent clashes with law enforcement outside the bar's Christopher Street and the neighboring streets around the bar and nearby Christopher Park. The Stonewall riots served as a catalyst for the gay rights movement in the United States and also around the world. The Stonewall Inn building is now part of the New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission's Greenwich Village Historic District, designated in April of 1969. The building and surrounding area have been listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1999 and named a National Historic Landmark in 2000. They were the very first LGBTQ associated properties listed on the state and national registers of historic places and were the first LGBTQ National Historic Landmarks. Stonewall 50 Worldwide NYC 2019 was the largest international pride celebration in history commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising with 150,000 participants and 5 million spectators attending in Manhattan alone. I mean, that island was crowded with a lot of gays that weekend. <laughs> the Stonewall Inn still stands where it did back in 1969, and you can still belly up to the bar and order a big gay drink. If you'd like to see photos, get more information, or buy some merchandise to support the bar, just visit the Stonewall Inn, nyc.com. I think this is incredible. I've actually never been to the bar, but I cannot wait to go to New York City and go check out the Stonewall Inn and see all of its amazing history. I've heard it's uh, a pretty small bar, but when you get there, you feel the impact that that bar had on our community. Well, that's the initial history of the Stonewall Riots, and that's your gay history lesson this week. Tune in next week for an all new lesson where we're gonna discuss Harvey Milk, the first openly gay elected official in the history of California and a civil and human rights leader in the gay community. So listen and you may learn something new. Learn something new. That's what you're gonna do. Learn something new.